What's up YouTube? Welcome back to CLEO's Network. In continuation of the hype for Chilling Rain cards, we'll be taking a look at some more deck lists from Japanese tournaments featuring cards from Chilling Rain. Today we're focusing on Galarian Rapidash V, but we'll also look at Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max. And before we get into these deck lists, a uh, quick shout out to PoTownStore.com, the best place for you to get PTCGO codes. And be sure to use code CLEO for 5% off. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for daily Pokemon TCG content and leave a like and a comment on this video if you enjoy it. Yesterday I covered Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX and Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX deck lists, so if you want to see a video focused on those, be sure to check out yesterday's video. This is howhow-news.com, which is the resource I get these Japanese deck lists from. And before we look at the deck lists, let's look at some of the cards uh, that you should know about going into these deck lists. So Galarian Rapidash V, this is actually coming out pretty soon in a uh, special box set in North America, and there will be an alternate art of it in Chilling Rain, I believe. So Gal Galarian Rapidash V, Psychic type basic V Pokemon with 210 HP, weak to dark, resistant fighting. It has the attack Libra Horn for colorless, colorless. Put damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon until its remaining HP is 100. So this is really neat. You can choose one of your opponent's Pokemon. So it doesn't have to be the bench. Uh, it doesn't have to be the active. It doesn't have to be the bench. It could be either or. And you put that Pokemon down to 100 HP. So let's say something like the Dene, you would only do 60 damage to it, right? To put it down to 100 HP, but something like Eternus VMAX, you'd be doing 240 damage to it to put it down to 100 HP. So this Libra Horn attack really scales based on how powerful the opponent's Pokemon is, and I really like it for that reason. Now, it's not one-shotting anything ever because it's always leaving it with 100 HP, but these decks that it's built around, uh, have ways to uh, kind of complement Libra Horn nicely. It also has Psychic. For Psychic Psychic, uh, it does 30 more damage for each energy on the defending Pokemon with a base damage of 60. Uh, so it's a decent attack, but Libra Horn's what I am really excited about for Galarian Rapidash V. Uh, we'll be looking at a deck with Galarian Moltres V in it today. It has the ability Hellfire Wings. Once per turn, you may attach a Dark Energy from your discard to this Pokemon. And you can only use one of those a turn. And then Galarian Zapdos V will also be in the decks we look at today. The ability Fighting Instinct. This Pokemon's attacks cost colorless less for each of your opponent's V Pokemon in play. And then the attack uh, for fighting and three colorless energy does 170 before dealing damage. Discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. But of course, if your opponent has at least three V or V Max Pokemon in play, this only costs one fighting energy. The new Cresselia that will be coming out in Chilling Rain has uh, two attacks. The first one's really great. The second one's decent. Um, the first one is Crescent grow but i believe it should be crescent glow well i guess we'll have to wait and see uh when it comes out in america uh but for a psychic energy search your deck for a psychic energy and attach it to one of your pokemon if it's your first turn and you're going second search and attach up to three psychic energy to one of your pokemon so it's kind of like the psychic version of volcanion from unbroken bonds sabrina and bryson is a supporter card that was made when Sabrina, uh, Belalba and Bryson Man was banned. And uh, in Japan, they made this to replace it. We never got it outside of Japan. Um, but it's a card you will see in some of the lists today. It's a tag team supporter that reads search your deck for up to two basic energy. And if you discard five other cards from your hand, you can also search your deck for up to three Pokemon of different types. Now this will be rotating uh, with the uh, Sun and Moon sets that are rotating out in September anyway. So even though we don't have this and Japan does, they'll be losing it in September as well. So it's not too big of a deal. Uh, Galvantula from Vivid Voltage. Now this is not a new card, but it's a card I had to look up to see what it did. So I imagine a lot of people watching this will also have to do that. Uh, so I did it for you. Um, we'll be seeing this for uh, its Shocking Pursuit attack. It does 20 damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Zeraora from Vivid Voltage is another card I had to look up to see what it did. Fighting Lightning for Lightning Colorless. It does 30, but if the defending is a V or GX, it does 110. 
and then Mandibuzz from Rebel Clash. Again, I had to look this one up. Uh, the second attack, Blindside, does 100 damage to one of your opponents that have opponents Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. So, review of Galarian Rapidash V, it puts damage counters on something until it has 100 HP left. This uh, will do a lot of damage. This will definitely knock whatever has 100 HP left out, and this will knock out whatever has 100 HP left. So you see how those might be comboing with Galarian Rapidash V. Before we look at the lists, um, kind of a limitation of Galarian Rapidash V is that you need your opponent to evolve into their V Max before you get the full value out of Libra Horn. If your opponent's playing a V Max deck, that is. Because if you do this to a V Pokemon and let's say put 110 damage on it and then they evolve into a V Max, they have a lot more HP now. Uh, but this is really good against tag team Pokemon while those are still in the format with Galarian Rapidash V. Like I said, the first list we'll be looking at today is a quick look at a Calyrex V Max list. Uh, just because this is built slightly different than the ones we looked at in yesterday's video, and also because it features that Cresselia um, that can accelerate a lot of energy to the board, which the lists we looked at yesterday were missing that Cresselia. So I just kind of wanted to throw this list in there, give you a little bit more Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX to look at. The list is a little bit different. Um, and I think this card's going to be something that everybody wants to try out because it seems super, super strong. But like I said, if you want more coverage on the Calyrex VMAXs, check out yesterday's video. So this is the first Galarian Rapidash V deck that we're looking at. And from this picture, you can see that it won some sort of tournament in Japan. They got these promo Pokemon card gym packs. So it either won a tournament or at least placed decently well at a tournament. Now, hold hold that with a grain of salt. It doesn't really have validity because we don't know if there were five or 50 people at this tournament, um, but it's a cool deck nonetheless. So that's why we're looking at it. Uh, so it's playing the Ariados that allows you to gust up a an evolved Pokemon. And then it has that Galvantula that we looked at that does 20 times the amount of damage counters on the defending Pokemon. And it's also playing two of the Zero Aura that does 130, or I'm sorry, 110 if the defending is a V or GX Pokemon. So if you use Galarian Rapidash, uh, I should also mention this is a Welder and Greens engine deck. So since they're playing Welder, you can use Galarian Rapidash turn one against tag team decks. Um, but you really don't need to against V decks because you want to uh, wait until they're a V max. But let's uh, let's do some simple math here. So Galvantula does 20 damage for each damage counter on your opponent's Pokemon. Let's say we have a Pokemon like Eternatus V, popular V Pokemon, right? So Eternatus V has 220 damage. So on turn one, if we use Galarian Rapidash to put this down to 100 HP we will put 120 damage counters on it Next turn they evolve into Eternus V Max Which has uh, 340 HP now it still has that 120 on it from last turn that we put on it so if we use Wrong deck list if we use the Ariados to gust it up into the active and then attack it with Galvantula and it has 120 damage on it, that Galvantula will do 220 damage, I believe. No, 240 damage if it already had 120, because it does 20 damage for each damage counter. So it still would knock it out, even though we used Galarian Rapidash when the Pokemon was just a V Pokemon. So it can even work when you're going, uh, on your first turn going second, you welder to the Galarian Rapidash V and set something up, and then they evolve it, and then you do the combo between Ariados Galvantula or Ariados um, Zara Aura, if it's a weaker Pokemon or they don't evolve, or it was a tag team Pokemon that can't evolve, you can use Zara Aura. Uh, so this deck seems really, really cool. Again, not sure how great and consistent it is. I'm not sure the validity of its placement at whatever tournament this was, but I think it looks really awesome. And it, Galarian Rapidash V is a really cool card to build around. 
The next one we're looking at here is a Dark Box style deck with three Galarian Rapidash V and they're playing Weavile GX here to move around Dark Energy. So this is utilizing the Galarian Moltres V that we looked at that uh, can accelerate an energy each turn. And again, we'll see here they got some Pokemon card gym promo packs and a Leon uh, kind of like winner's promo or high placement promo kind of deal. So again, we know they did somewhat well at a tournament, but not a lot of validity uh, can be given to that. So again, we're just kind of taking it for what it is. It's a cool deck. Now, something else to note, they do play Sabrina Bryson Man, like I mentioned. So it's not a huge deal, but it is a card that we can't use right now since it's only been released in Japan. But the focus of this deck is you're going to accelerate energy to the board with Galarian Moltres V with red and blue into Weavile, red and blue into Soul Valley. And you're going to put things down to 100 HP with Galarian Rapidash V. And then from there, we can use the Gun lord that takes an extra prize card if it knocks out the defending pokemon which it will if it was reduced to 100 from galarian rapidash and it wasn't healed or anything and then also this is where the mandibuzz comes into play we don't even have to gust up that pokemon if they keep it on the bench because for two dark energy this does 100 damage to one of your opponent's pokemon that has any damage counters on it and they're playing a 2-2 line of that and you can just move dark energy to it with weavile gx so uh really awesome stuff here that we're looking at um not sure how it holds up against the meta decks and whatnot it's really a shame that weavile gx is rotating um and that i think something from this deck was rotating uh oh yeah well greens and welder which are pretty big it's not a shame welder's rotating but <laughs> greens is a cool card to keep around and the tag the tag team cards are as well uh, the tag team supporters uh, so these lists as they are now will be short-lived because uh, rotation happens in September and we're not getting all the cards for these until June in North America and everywhere else outside of Japan pretty much but um, we can have fun with it while it lasts for the pre-rotation standard format and Galarian Rapidash V itself will be around for a while so hopefully we'll get to see a lot of cool things come out of this card Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if there are other cards or decks or even other types of videos you want me to cover on this channel. Like I said earlier, potownstore.com is the number one website for buying PTCGO codes. They send you a really convenient link to your email with uh, copy code codes that are really easy to just click and copy and paste right into PTCGO. And you can use code CELIO for 5% off over there, which helps support my channel. Also make sure you subscribe to this channel for daily Pokemon on tcg content like i said leave a like and a comment to show the support and thanks for watching have a great day and i'll see you next time here on celio's network